A collection of dimes and quarters is retrieved from a soft drink machine. There are five times as many dimes as quarters, and the total value of the coins is $27.75. Find the number of dimes and the number of quarters. Okay. Well, anytime you see these problems involving nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies, that kind of thing, well, at least oftentimes the following equation is useful. Cost times number equals value. Cost times number equals value. A good equation to internalize. All right, well, there's a table for that. Believe it or not, let's use it. Okay, here we go. Cost times number equals value in a table form. In table form. So if you remember this formula, that tells you the top row of the table here. Cost times number equals value. Okay, so what do we get? We have dimes and quarters. So I'll put dimes here, dimes and quarters down here. Okay, the cost of a dime is 10 cents. 0.1, right? You don't have to put one zero because a zero to the right of a number, that's to the right of a decimal, does not matter. Quarter is 0.25. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. There are five times as many dimes as quarters. Five times as many dimes as quarters. All right, so what that tells me is if I let x be the number of quarters, then there are five times as many dimes. Five times as many dimes as there are quarters. So let x be the number of quarters. All right. Then we simply multiply across here, 0.1 times 5x. And then here we have 0.25x. That gives us our value. And the problem gives us our total value right here. Look at that. The total value, it even says total value. And total means add in most contexts, including this one. So I'm going to add these together. Equals 27.75. 27.75. And there is our equation single equation. So we use that whole table just to get this one equation. So let's pull it out and just focus on that equation. 0.1 times 5x plus 0.25x equals 27.75. Right, well 0.1 times 5 is 0.5x plus 0.25x. Okay. Five, and then we can add those together. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. 0 0.75x equals 27.75. All right, divide both of these by 0 0.75. Right, may have to use a calculator for that. I get 37. 37 what? Right? Don't just think because we got x equals something that we've finished the problem. We have not. Right? Let's look at what it asks us to do. Find the number of dimes and the number of quarters. Okay, well, we decided that x was the number of quarters. So then for our answer, we might write something like this. Okay, so here's the answer. Um, we'll say 37 quarters. How many dimes? Well, five times that amount gives us the dimes. So five times 37. Again, you might need a calculator for this one. Comes to 185. So 185 dimes. Okay. Then a quick check. Ask yourself, is this answer reasonable? Yeah, it's reasonable, right? I would expect something in that ballpark. If I got something like 5,000 or two, then I'd have um, some more questions and I'd go back and check my work very closely. But this is a reasonable answer. It's in the ballpark. We'll go with it.